Okay, let's figure out where I was. So... I feel as if... I feel as if I had gotten, like, a treasure over in a thiswardly direction that I no longer have. Did I die last time? It's the wrong way to go here. Feels as if I must have, right? <clears throat> I have a dog who wants to bark for literally no reason. I don't have a weird thing for a doggo to do. Ow. Oh, hey, I have absolutely no health. Should probably have health before I go and do stupid things, huh? Ow. Okay, I was going to say, is that actually going to still hurt me? Well, those coins might have been nice. All right. Okay, so jump there, jump down here. So, like, I recall, I'm trying to remember, like, did I not? Like, I swear I got that chest. Oh, oh, and that's probably why I no longer have that chest. Okay. Let's go heal, and then we'll go get that chest. God, kind of, kind of a waste. I'm looking at how close I am on experience to getting the next like heal up. So I'm gonna get that just in the middle of middle of nowhere. I'm not going to even need it. Again, kind of a waste. <clears throat> so we're getting some coins. I don't know if I should feel poor. Like, I do. I just don't know if I should. There's that heal I didn't need. There we go. Apparently I hadn't gotten that. Or at least I didn't get the achievement for it. I could have swore. Did, did I see it and then not get to pick it up or something? So that allows me to grab onto walls, and that is something that uh, was in the original Lava Lana, so I'm a little bit familiar with it. In, like, in what it can do. Crap. I actually wanted to be over there. Uh, let's... Okay. That probably is actually why I didn't have a grapple call. Grapple claw. That's irritating. But I can't help but feel like I don't have anything to do in other areas right now. Like, there's not a lot for me to work on right now. I feel as if we're missing some, you know, basically puzzle pieces. And until I get them, it's not much. 
Uh, we haven't explored the right side of Icefire Treetop yet. Uh, so I think we're going to try to do that. Basically, if the game deigns to allow me to do so. Uh, so I want to fall down. Oh, no, I want to read that first. Okay. Did I mark... Is this gigantic skull back here? No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four? Because that looks important. Let's see if we can inspect it. Five, four, giant skull in background. Emir. Stone statue thought to be of Emir, the Norse mythology proto being. The myths tell of how he was defeated by his own children, how the world came to be from his dissected body parts, and how dwarves corresponding to the four cardinal points held his skull aloft, threading the sky. Sounds again mildly important. Oh, that's terrible. I'm getting really tired of that lava. Got us having to wait for for this thing every time. There's just there's no save point for me to. I mean, I could. That, that's a lie. I could grapple claw and then go back and save, but. Ow. Okay. So let's go get the grapple claw and then we'll. I guess we'll see what we want to do. Um. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. So, hey, Mako. <sighs> okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go save the grapple claw. Oh, can I just... I can just do that? Oh, come on. Okay, let's go back and keep exploring the ice fire tree, Tom. Now. I can grab onto this thing. Oh. Crap. Hey, Wonder Girl. So apparently if you grab on and then press the jump button, it swings you to the other side. The pillow looks like it's been scrubbed and polished pretty. With a surface that's smooth, you could probably go grab on with the grapple claw and swing around the other side. Oh, hey. Great. I'm glad you told me after I already figured it out for myself. Thank you. I think there was a... Uh, like a tablet or something that kind of hinted that you could do that. Okay. So... 
Grapple Claw, then press right and A at the same time. No! God damn it. Okay, fine. See, the problem is, <laughs> I want to be up there. So, like, not getting that jump right is annoying. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it when games do that. And the problem is this game has done that like four or five times now where it's told me how to do something just after I figured it out myself. And unfortunately, the teleport point for this area is like to the left through lava. So it's not exactly helpful to me right now. There we go. Okay, got some spears. So what does this say? If it is the flow of water you wish to defy, the treasure of the dwarves will serve. So, treasure of the dwarves lets you ignore the flow of water. For some reason I was typing lava. Also, do we have... I do not have that mark. Okay. So that's a fifth child. Oh, where's, there's my sniffing tool. Looks a little bit like, like the Eye of Ra or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, last week I actually originally... Okay. Don't want to fall. Don't want to fall. What's this do? Ooh, nice. So last week I actually intended to do a uh, ton of streams, and I really didn't have much of a chance. Uh, Friday, the new Final Fantasy XIV uh, expansion came out, and I was playing a lot of that. Uh, Thursday, I went out to dinner, and that took a while. Like, a lot of things happened that just made it so timing wasn't there. So, Inanna's body was hung in Underworld, left to decay. This is her punishment for daring to enter the Underworld living. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? No? Okay. Now that sounds... Alright, that's useful information, I guess. Yeah, nothing nothing, uh, nothing scary. Water flows from the eyes of Eye of Chaos. It watches the conflict between angel and demon and weeps at disparity in power. Water flows from Eye of Chaos between Angel and Dean and Leaps at the Disparity of Power. Yeah, no, I was absolutely fine. I did intend to do it, but just stuff happened. Is that tablet down there? Does this go anywhere? Where am I? I want to go right and down, honestly, before I go anywhere else. Hey, there's a thing here. A treasure. Uh, okay. What is this? Iglana Ruins Garb Chest. A treasure chest containing the Kimono Cowgirl Garb requires a heart-crested garb key to open. So, I'm assuming that that's, like, uh, the Kickstarter backer rewards. I don't know if I actually can get access to that. The secret hidden by the Golden Rock, hidden behind the wall, pinned by the Golden Rock. Okay. So we know where the Golden Rock is. Secret hidden by the Golden Rock behind the wall. Like, we, we know where that is. Oh, I fell. Is this anything? Never thought my grave would be here, but I'm happy that my mom and father are pleased by me and their blessing made me see the Maker's Light. Okay.
Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV over the past uh, several days. Uh, the new expansion is quite good. Uh, I think I'm going to go back and heal. We're a good way through uh, through moving. I've unpacked a number of boxes. Um, I kind of have a way to use my TV right now. The only problem is uh, it's significantly above me. It's actually above my computer monitors. So I have to kind of crane my neck up to see. And right now the TV isn't tilted. So it's actually a little bit hard to actually look at things. And anything on the very top of the TV is going to be kind of washed out. Um, so kind of unfortunate. I'm looking for better ways to do it, but honestly, in, with the layout that I have, it's going to be really hard to do anything else. My chair does recline, so that's the good news, uh, but it's still going to be kind of a thing. Like, the, the previous... Crap. The previous setup I had has allowed me to, like, turn my chair 90 degrees, and I had it. Um, now I don't have that option. So we'll see. It just means that for the time being, um, right, I have to press up. It just means that for the time being, I just do not have, um, hey, that was cool. I do not have the option of recording, uh, like, off of video game systems. Okay, I think we want to go, I think we want to go up, honestly. I don't know how to deal with that. So there's a... Let me actually write that down. So we're in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're in 6, 4. And there's a pedestal at the bottom of water with a chest. But, uh... I remember I'm Axis. In the uh, New Orleans Aquarium of, uh, Aquarium of the Americas, we ha actually have a uh, IMAX that tends to do... Can you go away, please? We have an IMAX that tends to do scientific and nature-themed movies. Documentaries, things like that. I believe they still have some of those theaters. So, I mean, I have a, like, kind of office chair. Like, one of the high-backed leather-style ones. Uh, and, uh, that's what I sit in while recording or doing stuff. Oh, this looks terrible. Well, this isn't like a trap or anything. Okay, it was a trap. Uh, I have no health for this. Ow. Uh, it just welcomed me to the chat room, too, so I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so there is a Ratatosker fight going on here. I mean, I have tools. I have, uh, I have my shurikens, so we have things we can do when I get up there. I just have to actually get in a position where I can actually shoot at Ratatosker, and uh, I was not in such a position. And when you combine that issue with um, the issue that there were obnoxious enemies also in the area. Oh, I fell. Okay, what's over here then? Oh, cool. I'm cool with this. Uh, hey, squid. Okay. Not helpful. Apparently we're going back down for a bit. Okay. Squid, can, can you not do squid things? Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, crap. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're going to go this way. Grab that, and we're going to go this way. 
there are hidden things here. I could not tell you what, but there is hidden stuff here. Ow. Okay, you just... Stop being an asshole. I feel as if I have, I have a... Gaze upon the foot of a bird of prey. Okay. All right. We figured out what that means. This hot spring will make your skin smooth as an egg. It'll be so smooth it'll be impervious to even water and lava. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do that for now, but we have that. Okay, so in 5-2... There is hot spring for 50 gold that makes you impervious to water and lava. Okay. Got some more caltrops. That's always nice. Um, okay, don't hit those spikes. What's it say? The heated waters of the plains gush with power. The power to surpass the body's limits. The power to erase stabbing pain. The power to ease that which leaves the hand. What the hell? Ease the that which leaves the hand. Uh, okay, I think two to the right was Ratatosker, so let's go up. Ow. Okay, so it wants me to go over here. Oh. Uh, no! What's this say? What does this say? Sing, Bird of Prey, Be Beauty Begins at the Foot of You. Well, we already, we just solved that. That one's been solved. Thank you. Oh, hey, there's a, okay, so this is 5-1. And there is a seal here, but I can't tell which seal it is. Can you go away? Thank you. Appreciate you, boo. Damn it! Okay. I want to see what is in that doorway, but I also want to know what's in that treasure chest. So we're going to go back up there. Now, I do recall that we had in one of the zones, and I can't remember which one. Uh, I'm going to have to go look at my notes. But there was something called like the, the, the Corridor of Bleeding, Corridor of Blood, something like that, that I didn't explore like a door but there was like an ominous hint there that I decided I didn't want to deal with um no bad so I want to go deal with that Because, again, I feel like I'm kind of running into a wall here. Like, we're still waiting to be able to fight that one noose boss that we saw. Maybe I need to go back and talk to uh, Mulbrook again and send her somewhere else. Just a ladder that ends up there. Sure, we'll do that. Hey, you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's open. What is this? This is a life seal. Okay. 
So there's a there's a lot of things we need that life seal for at this point. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, that's irritating. So I can't get past this. What's over here? Stuff. Okay. What's this say? Ratatosker slumbers. Trace the illusion's path and seal it, then the true body will awake. That sounds terrible. So it looks like I'm missing like a ladder that should be here. What's this say? The God of Prosperity, Ganesha. Those who possess the talisman of Ganesha's protection will be blessed with prosperity. Bless the talisman of Ganesha to be blessed with prosperity. Okay. I mean, I could totally use being blessed with prosperity right now, because I feel like I'm being blessed with... I don't know. Poor. I don't feel very prosperous. Oh, of course, those are going to be up there. Where there's literally no way for me to get to them. Yep. up here. Hmm. I don't feel like I've been here before. Virtue is measured akin to a number of ox hooves. Right. Is measured akin to a number of ox hooves. Good to know. So if I wish to be virtuous, kill a number of oxes and steal their feet. Got it. Also, there's a seal here. Can you not bomb me, please? Also, why can't I hit you? What's this? Light of Time, a machine that is perpetually illuminated by an equally perpetual engine that leverages the power of the ruins. It appears to be used to keep the person within the room sealed there. Okay, so what seal is that? That's a life seal. Okay, so in... Where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. I'm in 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. So in 7-7, seven, seven, Life Seal, come in through top right of Ice Fire Treetop. So there's that seal right there. Um, there's also a projector of time in this room. What's in here? In a room with a pharaoh. Cool. Alvis. A room with Alvis. Okay, do we, do we at least have information on Alvis from his glossary entry? One of the fifth children who are vulnerable to light. Alvis abandoned his home to pursue the true meaning of words. While living away from his home... His body became unable to resist the light and turned to stone. If you block the incoming light for him, he might move once again. Okay. 
Um, let's go to the lower right. 